Isaiah chapter number 58, Hebrews, the 58th book of the Bible. <clears throat> Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. In the house of Jacob their sin. Now this is a verse I use on streets. A verse that I got laminated. The people go, oh, you're so loud, you're so angry. Why do you got to be so loud? Well, the verse says, cry aloud. America's not used to that. You raise up your voice or do in all capitals typing, and they got you banded to go to jail. And don't pass go. Spare not. <clears throat> when you're to teach the people the word of God, you don't do a selected amount of people. You go to everybody, saved or lost, old and young, the rich and the poor. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Be heard. A trumpet gives a distinctive sound in music. And show my people their transgressions. <clears throat> so you got to preach sin. In the house of Jacob, there's sin. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They that delight in approaching to God. And that's found in Ezekiel 33, 30 to 32, but that's not going on today. You know, show them their transgressions, so their sins, yet they seek me daily. <clears throat> They're going to God for advice. They're going for God to learn of his ways, and you find that in Micah chapter 5. But that's all future. They're not seeking God today. They're against God. They're against what God has to say. And God's against them. Temporarily. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not. We're charging God of being blind. Yet what does Proverbs say? The eyes of the Lord in every place behold the evil and the good. What's the Bible say over and over and over? God seeth. Marin and Arian were having a little chit chat together one day against Moses and God stepped down. One guy took a gold, a, a, a garment, and some silver and buried it in his, inside of his tent. And God saw it. <clears throat> Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye you find pleasure. <clears throat> Fast is not a time of pleasure. How can it be pleasure? Jesus told you. He said, woe well, unto them, you know, fast and have the long spirit of faith. And, oh, oh, what's wrong with you? I'm fasting. Would you like to go out to eat with us? No, I'm fasting for the Lord. No. And then people look, oh, wow. You don't have to tell people you fast with the Lord if you get invited to say, no, I'm not really hungry. Maybe another day. Jesus said, do it in secret. But these people are fasting. So other people go, oh, isn't he just so spiritual? <clears throat> I mean, the Catholics got that 40 days of, oh, what a shame. And then they had that big party. I forget if it's before or after their fast. And they do whatever they want. Every lustful thing they want. <coughs> That's the pleasure. And exact all your labors. Labors is what afflicted. 
Look at something they do. They don't do it for God. They're doing it for a show. And God doesn't want that. God doesn't. God doesn't want a show. A show belongs in Hollywood. A show belongs in Broadway. God wants a meek, humble spirit that you do whatever you do for him and nobody else. Behold, he fasts for strife and debate. Wait a minute, I thought it was for God. Well, I have to I have to fast because they're going to fast and debate. My fast is longer longer than your fasting. Fasting. That's not what God wants. And smite wait a <clears throat> And to smite with the fist of wickedness. You're hitting people with your evil ways. Your unrighteousness. You're not even supposed to hit anybody. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day. And it's all wrong. To make your voice to be heard on high. Look at that. That's exactly what Jesus said. You do it for all the people to be. It's a big show. Is it such a fast that I have chosen? Is that what I have said? Now what is chosen, what God has chosen, Luke 18, 10 to 14. It's to impress the people and not God. A day for a man to afflict his soul. Fasting is to afflict yourself. It's to deprive yourself. It's to get you closer to God and to clean yourself out. It's when, oh, the agony, I need food to be agony to pray for somebody. To keep reading your Bible even though, oh, man, I'm hungry. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush? Oh, look at me. Oh, is me. To loose the bands. Uh, wait a minute. Bull. And to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? That's a sign. That's an outward appearance. What's the trouble? Why are you wearing a sackcloth? I'm fasting. Not what it was to be. Wilt thou call this a fast? <laughs> when you have a public announcement, such as the Catholic Church, 40 days of fast, look, we're going to fast. God says that it is wrong. He says, wilt thou call this a fast? Evidently, a fast in the Bible means, <clears throat> yes, the, the abstain of food or liquid or both for a period of time that you set. It's between you and God, Jesus said. It is not for an outward show to get gratification for what you're doing. An acceptable day to the Lord. You can go all day long, but if you do it the wrong way, God is not going to accept it. He doesn't even acknowledge it as a fast. <clears throat> is not this the fast I have chosen? Again, verily, verily. To loose the bands of the wickedness? Oh. Put off your sin. To undo the heavy burdens? Get rid of some stuff. 
and to let the oppressed go free. And that ye break every yoke. Get rid of slavery. Get rid of the, the over bondage you got your employees under. Put Get the nation free. You know, those Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes, oh, they fasted. And, but the bondage that they put the people under, you couldn't go so far. Uh, rubbing, your, rubbing some wheat between your, your hands, oh, that's work. <clears throat> Jesus healed on the on the Sabbath. Ooh. But look you up. We're perfect. Not in the eyes of God, you're not. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? That thou bring the poor that are cast out so out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou coverest him, that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. <clears throat> We're coming down and taking care of others. Afflicting your soul, go out and help somebody else. Stop thinking about yourself. How about that for a fact? How about a fast away from yourself to help others? How about you having a piece of, of toast when you go buy somebody a McDonald's meal that needs it? Huh? And even thy own flesh, Jewish. Jewish. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. You're going to get light. You know what mo the, the big ten commandments, you know what they're broken down to two? They're broken down the relationship between you and God. Thou shalt know the gods before me, thou shalt love and honor me above all. Thou shalt no, make no uh, graven images, honor the Sabbath day for the Jew. Honor thy mother and father, thou shalt not... Steal, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not covet thy name. You know what those are? Those are your relationship to others. The Ten Commandments is the Ten Commandments are broken into two that two two division. Relationship with God and relationship with others. And thy health shall spring forth speedily. Now that's not promised to a Christian. I can feed the poor. I can take care of the, the people in prison. I can love and pray the people in my church. But <clears throat> excuse me. You know what promise I get? All they that live godly shall suffer persecution. Was Paul in good health? You imagine what Paul looked like. After those beatings and shipwrecks, whatever that infirmity had. You know what Jesus looked like? And he fulfilled the law. You know the promises here? You know, you'll get good health, you do what you're supposed to do, you get the land and you know, riches and all that. What riches did Jesus have? What land did he have? What health did he get for fulfilling the law one hundred percent? By taking upon our sins. He hung naked on the cross. And he was buried in another man's tomb. Now he has it all. Thy health shall spring forth speak. Now you see where somebody can grab a hold of that verse right there and look at that. You go start a soup kitchen, verse 7. You open up a, a, a homeless shelter, verse 7. You get yourself a clothing place and give to the to the <clears throat> to the to the poor clothes. 
And then, you know, that help shall spring forth speedily. You see where they get it? And that's true. That verse is 100% <coughs> true. It's not for us. See what verse 1 says? House of Jacob. I'm not the house of Jacob. You know, there are religions that have stolen from Israel their blessings, and they will apply that upon you. You do everything that faith healer tells you to do, and you'll get health. And if you don't have your health, and you don't grow that leg back, and, and that, 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 that cancer doesn't go away, because you don't have enough faith. You liar. And thy righteousness, thy righteousness, all the law they had to follow and do shall go before thee. You know what goes before me is the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Without Jesus Christ, I have no righteousness. I know already I can't fulfill the law. Honor thy mother and father. Listen, I was saved in 1987. I was 18 years old. I have already, by the time I got saved, broken that commandment many times. I was at one time a rebellious, glutton, drunkard son. I should have been stoned and gone to hell. <coughs> yeah, I could have got a Bible. I could have read it as I was, but I didn't. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Re reward. Re reward. Re reward. Re reward. Re reward. A reward on top of reward. And it wasn't for them. And it isn't for them. But it will be. Then shalt thou call. And the Lord shall answer. They call today, not anybody else answers. They call using cell phones and telephones. They don't call upon their knees. They sure don't call upon God. And God's not listening. Go over to the wailing wall. See how much God is answering their prayer. <clears throat> Thou shalt cry. And he shall say, I am, he, excuse me, here I am. Is he saying that today? If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, they never did that in Jesus' time, and put him forth of the finger and speak in vanity. Now put it, you know, put it in the finger. You. Vanity. Nothing. You just blab in your mouth. You know, you know this this cell phone thing today. Everybody's on a cell phone. Why? It's just vanity. What really importance is it that you gotta have that thing glued to your ear all the time? I listen, I grew up with a telephone in the house. And we lived perfectly well with not being glued to a to a phone to our ear. My great-grandparents had the greatness of knowing no telephone. And you would go over your neighbor's house, who you know, and you would have tea and cookies. And sit down and talk. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry... Your eternal state in the Old Testament. Your soul rested on the Old Testament of your conduct to God and people. Not today. <clears throat> and satisfy the afflicted soul. Then, sh then shall thy light rise in obscurity. And thy darkness be as the noonday. Light by works. 
Paul says to one of the churches, not of works, least any man boast. Look at me, I'm fasting, oh, I'm fasting. <coughs> You know what Jesus done? He took care of the hungry. He satisfied the afflicted full of full soul. He took care of the, the, the health of the people. He healed them. He fed them. The Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought. How do you do that? How is there satisfaction in drought? God can do it. <clears throat> Alas, uh, 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 ask Elijah. That's two words. Tongue twister. There's a drought. The river dried up and uh, ravens are bringing him food. Now, I don't know how much food a raven can bring, but he was satisfied. And make fat thy bones. Their bones are fat today, but there's not by God. By a bunch of green thing with with dead men on them. Thou shalt be like a watered garden. Full of life. Nutrient. Beauty, usefulness, fruitfulness, like a spring of water, sweet, refreshing, good to drink, whose waters fail not, always replenishing, an endless forever supply, the Lord Jesus Christ, that rock that was in the wilderness that followed them. They that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Uh oh. What's Jerusalem today? <clears throat> it's an old wasted place. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. Uh oh. They're going to rebuild. Thou shalt be called. The repairer of the breach. Breach is a hole in the wall. The whole wall is gone. The restorer of the past to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. Uh oh, that's not us. Paul tells the church there are nine commandments to follow. He leaves out number 10, which is the third commandment, the Sabbath. It says nothing about the Sabbath. So this is not us. This is not the church age. From doing thy pleasure on my holy day. What is God's pleasure on the holy day? Relaxing. They're not doing that today. They're 24-7 and 7 days a week and 12 months in a year. And call the Sabbath a delight. Isn't it great just have the family here all together and eating cold sandwiches that mom made yesterday? And we just, I don't think playing a game would be, uh, maybe. Having father read the scriptures to the family after coming home from temple. <clears throat> just relaxing, taking a nap. Taking another nap. Not worrying about business, not worrying about work, just <clears throat> giving mama a break besides maybe taking care of the little baby. Not in America, not in China. The Holy of the Lord. Sabbath with holy. It's where we get the word ho holy day or 
holiday. We just take off the Y and add an I. For I, me, myself. You notice that? America takes the Y out and puts I for their holy day. Because it's all about me. <clears throat> Honorable or things America honors. Phil. And thou shalt honor him. So the Sabbath was a day of rest. It was a day with your family. It's a day for God. You wanna go ask any Jew they do that today? Not doing thy own ways. <clears throat> Boy, we're going from fast to the Sabbath. What was the Sabbath? You don't do what you do every day. Jesus said, well, don't you, didn't you have, where, you know, if an ass falls in a ditch, you, you pull him out. Don't you do circumcision on the if it has to be the eighth day? Don't you go out and, and, and water your cattle and all that? According to this passage, you weren't even supposed to do that. And what about the eighth day? What if it was the Sabbath? You better be in prayer and close with God to find out what God has to say about it if it comes up the Sabbath day. Maybe God would have it so no child would be born that the eighth day would be the Sabbath day. Nor finding thy own pleasure. It's not a day about pleasure. And this goes in with the fast. A fast is not, oh, be! It's, oh, man. God, I am. I, I thought I was so strong, but when I'm saying I'm not going to have a meal in one day, oh Lord, in this one day called the Sabbath, it's not about you, it's about God. This would be a time where you explain to your children and your family the history of the Jews, all that God has, has done for them. You know what Jesus did on the Sabbath day? He went in the temple and he read. You know what fathers to do on the Sabbath day? They're to rest, sit in his family, and read the scripture. You soak your children at least one whole day about God. That ain't being done. Nor speaking thy own words. Oh, see, you can't have your word. It's got to be God's word. You don't talk about football. You don't talk about business. You don't talk about sports. You don't talk about the theater. You don't talk about jokes. You don't talk about stupid things. You think of and talk about God. That was the Sabbath. Now, you go ask any person honoring the Sabbath today, the seven-day Adventist, and all those that think that the Sabbath is for the... Do you do all this? I don't think so. <clears throat> it's not about you. It's about God. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. When you put away yourself. Don't you fast and have other people recognize you. Oh, what a guy he is. No. It's when you please God, then thou shalt then thou shalt then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. And I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. He will exalt you. God will exalt you. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. Jewish. Jewish. Jewish Israel <coughs> for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it so it's a sure 
the mouth that said, let there be son, let there be animal. Let the Jewish man that does the fasting and the Sabbath for me and for others and burying yourself. The Jewish person that does that in the Old Testament under the law, him God is pleased with. For the Lord had spoken it. Wasn't that a great chapter to match Hebrews? Hebrews, Jewish, great faith chapter. Jesus Christ, our priest, 